Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss The Post, starring Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks, Sarah Paulson, Bob Odenkirk, Bruce Greenwood, and Alison Brie, and directed by Steven Spielberg. Now before I get into this review, I want to say something right up front. I've seen this movie twice. The first time was a mediocre crowd with a friend of mine in Las Vegas, and the second time was because was with an audience that someone I didn't realize that was a character and was a cousin of this movie. I will talk about that as soon as I get to there. But let's get into the movie, shall we? The opening of the Endless Logos is the same way British Spies opened the movie up, with the Endless Logos, and I'm glad Spielberg makes the logos go quickly like a snap of a finger. The opening war sequence in 1966 felt very intense, and I felt I... And like, and I felt like I didn't know what I was watching. And this is the Vietnam War, keep in mind. I was watching, but it sets up a point for the newspaper plot for this movie's plot. Secretary Bob McNamara, <clears throat> played by Bruce Greenwood, who was in the recent Star Trek series, and that character was fun by a presence of Bruce Greenwood. <clears throat> the, score up, the score by John Williams felt so good and so intense for the plot of this movie. We move up to Washington, D.C. <clears throat> with Katherine Graham, played by Meryl Streep, who I think is a fantastic actress in different roles, and she usually does great, and she's great in this movie. Tom Hanks plays Ben Bradley, who I'm believing is the general manager, and Katherine is the district manager, or should I say it like this, which means she's his boss, and he's and I really like Tom Hanks in this movie. I thought he was a lot of fun. David Cross as Howard Siemens, but I usually don't like him in half the movies I've seen him in. But here, I like this his character, who's Bradley's other manager at the Washington Post. I thought he was great in here. Secretary McNamara gets a story posted by the New York Times, and it doesn't sound flattering from what from what he tells us about classified stories. That that moment, it felt very intense for a newspaper people that are our protagonists. Allison Brie is Catherine's daughter, Lally. Forgive me if I said that wrong. Who's a mother as well and a very likable character. I enjoyed her presence here. A different Ben, who is not played by Tom Hanks, gets some papers that prove by this guy named... Let's see if I have it. Dan Ellsberg, who... I will explain that at the end of the show. Not only the war wasn't going to be won by us, but Catherine and Ben Bradley, who is Tom Hanks, want to go publish this story. <clears throat> and that was so intense. That was an intense last hour of the movie where I feel like I was on the edge of my seat. And I'll talk about those scenes after I talk about what I liked next. Sarah Paulson who I know from The Spirit 10 years ago, and she's on a TV show currently, plays Brad, Ben Bradley's wife, <clears throat> who, oh wait, I didn't get her name, damn. Well, you know, it doesn't matter. Who I like in the character, despite how I don't know the actress, but I still like her. Four plus Bradley from the Washington Post go through the papers that other Ben fan finds in Boston by Dan Ellsberg. While Bradley's innocent 10-year-old daughter is making lemonade for them, which, how cute, by the way. And Roger Clark, who's played by some guy, forgive me for if, if I didn't get the name down, looks at what they're doing and sends in two other guys that thinks it's a bad idea to post the story. The other Ben finds from... Dan Ellsberg and post Boston pudding into a newspaper in three days. Now, let me explain what I know about Dan Ellsberg. He's the guy that illegally got the papers. I don't know if that's correct, so please bear with me. And one of the audience members I saw in the theater for my second viewing was a lady that's I think it's his cousin that married or his sister that or her sister that married Dan Ellsberg, something like that. And she was, she was, she was cool to give me some information on the internet about Dan Ellsberg. And he is the reason that they get this post up. 
And she experienced this movie like, like it was really real. So, let's get into the end. They post the story and the whole Washington Post don't end up going to prison. Which, yay, by the way. And after they win the case, the White House says do not talk to the Washington Post. And the movie ends with the security guard hearing some suspicious noise as someone steals the papers that the other Ben gets from Dan Ellsberg from Boston. And the at ending felt weird to me. Like, I didn't know, like, what was going on. Like, well, other than the fact that they were trying to steal the papers back. But that's another story. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 8.5 out of 10. This is a very good movie with very good acting and felt very intense moments to the film. And Spielberg does a good job on with how to tell this movie's story, and I'm really impressed with the storytelling as well. Really worth your time, by the way. Really worth the two hours. I couldn't believe it was two hours only. It wasn't two and a half. But, uh, but yeah, I recommend you guys go see it. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for this whole Spielberg retrospective of his dramatic work. And before I say goodbye, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a positive comment in the bottom. Be sure to subscribe, watch some more videos, and yeah, have a good one.